Hello and welcome to my shop. This is Birdhouse 4 or 5. This is uh, going to be cedar. A very interesting project. You stay tuned and I'll show you how I made it. And I'm going to leave that. It's going to be the bottom of the birdhouse. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to square off this end. Now here's another piece of cedar. It has a crack right here, but I think I can get around it or fix it or whatever. And first thing I'm going to do to it is I'm going to put it between centers and square off both ends. Okay, after I have that done, this will be set aside. I'm going to flip this one. Uh, I'm not going to flip it. I'm going to put a, a worm screw in this end, and I'm going to hollow this from this end. And then I'll flip it around and glue it to that one and then finish the outside. Does that make sense? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, let's... Uh, Let's play with this thing, see what happens. All right, well, I got me a little cedar log on here, all cut off and centered like I normally do with the uh, one inch drilled hole in the end with the drive. So we're going to get the beaver out and we're going to make this thing around. So just stick with me here. Sort of like, you know, when you know what works, why change it, right? So here we are. I run this on the slow belt and I'm going to run it probably about a thousand RPM. Very good. There we are. <coughs> Next step is I'm going to uh, I'm going to be hollowing from this end, so I'm going to put a worm screw on this end and uh, hollow this out, and then that will be glued to that. And where we go from there, ain't so dang sure, but we'll see. It just flipped around, put a worm screw in it, and I'll catch in a while. Well, the worm screw didn't work out. I guess the cedar's too uh, too soft or something. It just wouldn't get a bite. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a tenon on this end for my uh, 70 millimeter jaws, little dovetail. So um, we use a square cutter for that. Well, I'm sorry you couldn't see that, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh switch the camera around here in a minute so you can see what the finished product looks like. There you go. Hard to see how well it fits here, isn't it? Let's take it off and see how well it fits. So I guess I'll do that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and drill this out about four inches. And then, then I'll hollow it from this end. So let's see what happens here. Cedars are drill easy. Okay, the hole's drilled. Let's just move on to hollowing it out now. I'm going to use my uh, modified catfish. All right, I modified it by widening the saddle, as you see right there. I, I widened it about a quarter of an inch. That that lets me take the take the tool and and better manipulate it to like a you know a 30, 40, ang 40 degree angle.
get your wrist in a little closer, it do better. Uh, it's too small. Then we got another way to do it. This, this is fine. I think I got it. Oh yeah, I'm done. Good enough. All right. Well, it works. Especially when I get to do it like a bigger bowl where I can, you know, get the wrist sitting inside and it'll do real good. Turn this mess off. So basically, that's all the hollowing I'm going to do. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it back, glue it on. See why I flattened this earlier. Leave no surface uncovered. Well, I got this all glued up and everything, but what I wanted to, uh, before I took this list, I wanted to show you how I did this, just just for the fun of it. Uh, I, take, you know, I put a put a rest right here, you know, where it's, you know, not quite touching, and then, then I spin this to see if there's much difference in the uh, distance between the two, and that lets me know if I got it pretty close. Anyway, that's, that's all that is, so. Uh, <clears throat> the thought here... Let me get all this stuff back in place here. Uh, what I was trying to say before I so rudely interrupted myself, the thought here is to make this, uh, I want to leave this bottom sort of, you know, like it is, but I, I'm going to have to blend this one to this one right here. Now, I hollowed up into this piece four inches, which is right here. Now, my hollowing is, you know, it's, well, it's about... I'd say close to, I got about a, maybe close to a half, an inch wall in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, just going to do like this. It'll be like a teardrop come down to, to right here. If I can't get something a little better. Something that shows up a little bit better than that. All right. So I'm going to take, you know, this piece and this piece and, and blend them together a little bit best I can. I hollowed up to this point right here. Right approximately here, that's four inches. So the idea is I'm going to try to come, this will be down like this and like this, and it's going to come to like make a teardrop like deal right here. Something um, like that, and then of course your, your bird hole will be here and your perch will be here. Well, that's the plan, my friends. And then I'm going to put a little hook on top. So let's uh, decide how we're going to do this. Uh, hmm. I think. Oh, let me guess. Let's use the beaver.
see what that looks like. Yeah, a little more. Some of, some of these I'm not going to be able to blend, which is okay. Beavers notorious about splintering things off anyway. It's more like for fast removal in the beginning. I didn't, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but when you're cutting like in a cove using a round tool, you can come in straight like this if you want to, but my preferred method is to is to come in here at, at this type of angle, or maybe like 30 degrees, come in here, and as you hit the bottom, you rotate 30 degrees the other way. If you come in here like this, and that part is still high, you're going to get a catch and it's going to flip on you. So you come in here nice and slow and as you get to the bottom, you rotate this way. Or you can just come in, like most people do, just straight like this. So um, I think that's just, I think I'm where I want to be right now. I need to get a little deeper right there to get that red off. Okay, what I was doing there is I was watching this profile back here. You guys can't see it. Uh, and, you know, getting the highs and lows because you can look down there and you can see it as you're cutting here. I sort of like that right there. I think I'll, I think I'll leave that. I, I sort of like it. And I'm going to bring this t to a rounded deal right here. I'm going to try something here. I, I hadn't used one in a while, but I know I know how to use them. It's one of these things. What do you call those? I don't know. I hadn't used one in a while, but I sure know how. that I 
getting awful close to that right there and I gotta be careful. Um, got a little bit of a tool mark there. I, I was too busy watching this flying stuff with my hand here than I was paying attention to what I was doing. So uh, I'm sure that's understandable. So I mean, I'm gonna get the round cutter to clean out these right here, and I'll, I'll do something here. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure, but I'll do something. No, I don't like getting out over there. That. Those right there are sharp, they would just cut the living you know what out of you. Enough of this noise. to change batteries. This uh, batteries on my new camera here. They don't last as long as my old one. Well now let's see, where do I want to put? I want that left there, that's sort of pretty. I think I'll take advantage of this right here and put my entrance hole right there on that crack. Let's see. Uh, I want that on the back. Yeah that'd be a good place right about here. Go ahead and lock it down. And then the perch should be about there. That'd be about right. There you go. Don't fall in there. And that happened if you guys remember, right? Didn't like that worth a flip. That was an inch and an eighth. I'm going to make a little perch hole right under it. Nice of them to give me an alignment place for it, wasn't it? So there we are. Oh, here we go. Uh oh, flip that back. Turn that off just in case. And you see the two just blended right together. I'd already sealed this because I was going to use it for another project. It has one in round to it so that I didn't get to it, so I'm using it on this.
Well, I think this is all right. This is different. Now you can see there where it's sort of raised up. But that's okay. All right. I'm going to let that sit a little while. And then I'll be back. All right. Well, there you go. There's number four of five. All cedar. Well, if you like what I do, please subscribe. So y'all just keep on whirling. And we'll catch you on the next one, which will be coming up shortly, 5 of 5. Take care.